What's up people? Welcome to another edition of By The Fireside. Last week's story got quite a good reception. Quite a few people liked that. Some people heard that one and said to me that they, it made, they gave them goosebumps when they read it. I myself thought that was quite a deep story. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you take your time to go and check it out. It should be over here. Also, make sure you check out Poetry Weekly. And also, another thing I'd like to announce is my website www.studybreaks.com is now officially live. Meaning you can get your copies of Poetry is Cool straight from there. Get your copies of Poetry is Cool. Here it is. Poetry is Cool, my DVD. Can you see the plastic? Can you see the plastic? Poetry is Cool. Some people don't believe the plastic is on it, you know. So I'll just, I'll rip some of it off. Just to prove a point to you, I'll rip the plastic off. You see that it's got the plastic covering. It's legit, you know. Can you see that coming off? I hope you can see that coming off. Okay, that, that's brand new. If you want poetry, it's cool. Get a copy. You can also get a copy for your friends. The DVD, the website is now live, so make sure you get it. And make sure you log on to the website. Give me some feedback. Send me some messages. I'd love to hear from you. Aside from that, we're going to get into this piece by the fireside. Once again, the story, some of this was sent to me. Sent to me by a guy called Usman. Send that to me on Facebook. I read through it. I really liked it. I told him I'd get around to it. Fortunately, this is the week I've got. I didn't have a story my own one planned, so I thought, let me get around to it. So I'm going to read this one called To You. It doesn't have a title, so I self-titled it. Um, I like to call it Mother May I. Hope you enjoy it. One day, a young boy approached his mum with a piece of paper. He seemed excited about it, so his mum was wondering, what, what, what could this possibly be? He approached her with a piece of paper, and he handed it to her. He said, here. So his mum picked up the piece of paper, and she noticed that it was a list. And she wondered, what could this list be for? So she proceeded to read down, down the list. First on the list it said, Mowing the grass. Five pound. Making my own bed. That's two pound. Going to the shop for you. That's five pound. Looked after baby brother. That's £25. I got a good report this year, so that's £50. And then I took out the bins and cleaned the lawn, which is £20. The mother realised that this was how much she owed him for all the services he's done over the house. So she just laughed and she looked at him and she said to him, Nine months I carried you in my stomach, free of charge. The times I had to stay awake when you couldn't sleep, free of charge. All those times you cried and pooed yourself and weed yourself and I cleaned it up, free of charge. All the times I gave you good advice, free of charge. All the amount of money I paid for your toys over the year, that's free of charge. All the money I paid for your schooling, free of charge. And lastly, my unconditional love. For you, free of charge. And it's beautiful because at nine years old, the boy's eyes began to tear up. And he looked at his list, tore it into pieces, he hugged his mum and said, paid in full. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a short story. It was just about... Love, I guess, it's just about loving your parents. I, w my, I hold the philosophy here yeah, that there's no woman that a man could ever love more than the woman that gave birth to him. That's his mother. And you know, a lot of guys have girlfriends, and and some. And I, I, I hold the opinion that only a silly girl would ask. So if your wife ever turns around to you and said, "Who do you love more, me or your mother?" I think you should dump her because any woman sh should have be clever enough to know the answer to that question. If she asks you that, she's pretty silly. I want to leave you with a quote. You know how I always leave with a quote. I have a quote by a woman called Mildred B. Vermont. And the quote says, Being a full-time mother is one of the highest salaried jobs. Because the payment is pure love. Thank you very much. That's by the fireside, Sully Breaks. I hope you enjoyed. Please get back to me. Let me know what's going on. If you enjoy, if you don't. Aside from that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit me up ASAP. Other than that, peace.